This is Jupiter Today for the 11th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. But today there are six Jupiter satellite events and two satellite mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant four, heading east. Europa is in quadrant one, heading east. Ganymede is in quadrant four, heading east. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant one, heading east. At 3.15 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter. And by six hours UTC, EO has more or less moved behind Jupiter coming out from our point of view. This blue line is the line of sight to the Earth. And this gray line is the line of sight to the Sun. So as you can see, at six hours UTC, it's just coming out of the shadow. Also at six hours UTC, Ganymede starts to move behind Jupiter. And that actually occurs at 619 UTC. At 643 UTC, Io reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. At 9.59, Ganymede reappears from behind Jupiter. And at 11.07 UTC, Ganymede moves into Jupiter's shadow. So the phase angle here is large enough such that from our point of view, Ganymede moves behind Jupiter, reappears for a little while, about an hour, and then moves into Jupiter's shadow cast by the Sun, of course. At 12 hours UTC, Io is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. Europa is near its eastern elongation, going to be going into quadrant two, heading west. And Ganymede is going to be moving out of Jupiter's shadow and into quadrant two, heading east. At 12.58 UTC, Callisto goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter. And that's 1,896,716.1 kilometers. Then at 14.47, Ganymede reappears from Jupiter's shadow. At 16.31, Europa goes through an apogee. That's also the furthest distance it's going to be from Jupiter. And that's 677,457.1 kilometers. And then at 1720 UTC, Io goes through a perigee. That's the closest it's going to be to this, to Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 420,059.4 kilometers. From 1757 to 1804 UTC, Io occults Ganymede. It's a seven minute event with an impact parameter of 0.549 arc seconds and an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.161 magnitudes. And this event is 86.49 arc seconds from Jupiter. And that's basically here and here. At 18 hours UTC, Io has passed its eastern elongation and is now firmly in quadrant two, heading west. Europa is also in quadrant two, heading west. And Ganymede is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. From 2101 to 2106 UTC, Io eclipses Ganymede. It's a 5.4 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.772 arc seconds, a fairly shallow eclipse, a graze, estimated magnitude flux drop of 0 0.096 magnitudes, but it's a good distance away from Jupiter, Ganymede is, 116.87 arc seconds, with Io and Ganymede being 65.16 arc seconds apart. And then by zero hours UTC tomorrow, Io is still in quadrant two, heading west, but going to be moving in front of Jupiter pretty soon. Europa is in quadrant two heading west. Ganymede and Callisto are both in quadrant one heading east. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the temporal and spatial connections between the four Galilean moons. So here's Io and Europa. 
Eo and Ganymede. And that's a nice little twist. Eo and Callisto. Europa and Ganymede. It's a nice twist also. Europa and Callisto. And finally Ganymede and Callisto. And then I combine all of these to get that for today. 24 hours of Jupiter sky is going to be from Eo's point of view. So this big dark circle in the center is Jupiter. And Eo is seeing the dark side of Jupiter at the moment. You can see how close it is to the sun relative to Eo. So let's run this today and uh, see what happens on the equator of Eo over the next 24 hours. The red spot crosses Jupiter's meridian twice today, the first at 517 and the second at 1513 UTC. There was a new image posted. And there was some new radio data posted. And there were no new papers. So at zero hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of nine hours, zero minutes, 30.4 seconds, and a declination of positive 17 degrees, 59 minutes, 58.1 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun, as seen from Earth, is 113.806 degrees. The phase angle, which is the angle between the Earth and the Sun, as seen from Jupiter, is 10.011 degrees. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth is 732,684,265 kilometers. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun is 800,530,862 kilometers. The central meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 14.03 degrees, CM2, 266.53 degrees, CM3, 191.89 degrees. So thank you for subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, and as you watch this podcast today, you can hit the like button as well. Make sure to tell everyone that you know about this podcast. You can send your comments and images and questions, suggestions to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.